welcome to Mystic Ashram. I'm Dadam Carr and thank you for joining me. Today is a reading for Aquarius. We're going to be using the Jindran Tarot, which is a beautiful deck of multiple cultural deck, uh, where every suit is a different culture. And we're also going to be reading with the um, uh, the mermaids and dolphins deck, which is uh, created by Doreen Virtue there at the end for a clarifier card. Okay, a Jindran tarot deck was created by Melanie Jindran as part of her um, joining the Order of the Golden Dawn. Uh, every member has to create their own tarot deck and some of them choose to publish them. This one turned out so amazing that she chose to publish it. So. We're just going to look for, for speed's sake. We're just going to uh, let's get that one just upside down. Call upon the energies of the universe and the rulers of Uranus and Saturn for Aquarius to please give us a reading for June, a uh, general life reading, career path, including love uh, for June of 2017 for the sign of Aquarius. Please, can we please have? Okay, reading sign of Aquarius, June 2017. Oops, too many cards that time. There we are. Okay. Good feeling on these cards. They're near the back of them. It's a cosmic butterfly symbolizing change. All right, in our position of where we currently are, we have the King of Cups. There he is with a bear, represented by the European traditions. King of Cups, emotions. And these cards come with so many associations that I encourage you to watch our other videos that will be coming up concerning the tarot and its many associations, as well as uh, astrological signs, numerology, etc. And those will go into further detail. In the meantime, for clarity and brevity's sake, we're just going to read the interpretations of the Jinran tarot here. So we have the King of Cups. There he is. King of Cups. It says ambitious, aesthetic, artistic, businessman, lawyer, scientist, considerate, creative, uh, educated, kind, professional, religious, and responsible. Uh, you maintain integrity in all doings right now, Aquarius. This is uh, topped by uh, temperance in your current position. It's our first major arcana card, and it rep is represented by the numbers 14, which added up 1 and 4, turned into 5, which means choices. So 14, major arcana, temperance. Established in the source of all, I am centered in self. In the pure light of essential self, one stands a witness, neutral, patient, and expectant of life, embodied in holy grace. Each act is progressive divinity, every touch in hand with God and goddess. 
every word speaks a holy name, while spirit supports everything with knowledge of itself. So we have signs. Moderation, patience, verification. Temperance integrates opposites, bringing together spirit and matter. Temper, extreme emotion and behavior to achieve the middle path of equanimity. Um, master pairs of opposites by practicing the art of remembering your true divine nature. Your temper or strength is tested by daily living. The art of tempering is that of making a properly balanced mixture. Balance is indicated trying new things while maintaining present security. So move forward, but keep it up. Whatever you've been doing, maintain that security. Maybe there is a compromise to be made. Do not compromise your spiritual nature, Aquarius, but there may be a compromise to be made in regards to daily sustenance towards your overall dreams and goals and you are manifesting spirit's will the uh, spirit would not give you a mission that spirit did not know you were capable of accomplishing aquarius so in our foundation we have ace of wands and it is a child with a branch of a wand and a robin so amazing such a beautiful beautiful picture ace of wands Adventure, artistic inspiration, aggression, birth, innovation, inventiveness, new beginnings, enterprise. Mm, this is the foundation of where you're at right now. Established in being your true self, perform action. All right, so time to come out. <coughs> Whatever you're, you're going through. Time to come out now, Aquarius, with your innovations. Now, in the past, we have a Prince of Wands, and it is reversed. This... In the past, you had bad news, you had gossip, you had indecision, you had instability, and you had reluctance. Uh, what you needed was trust and to emphasize your trustworthiness, and you've done that. And so you're, you're no longer in a position of, of bad news, gossip, indecision, instability, and reluctance, Aquarius. And now over you, what, what do we have? We have the reverse of the two of pentacles. So with the reverse of the two of pentacles, we have agility in manipulating materiality, reckless spending and simulated gaiety. Get grounded, be responsible. This is not a time to spend anything extra. It is a time be responsible time to step forward oh my goodness very scary so uh we now have um the three of cups and and it's these three women socializing together the three of cups ahead of you aquarius yes symbolizes you stepping into the future compromise fortunate conclusion fulfillment healing and solace acknowledge goodness and appreciate blessings so if you're good just you're good don't worry about that appreciate where you're at step into your goodness 
Aquarius, this is the time. And you are symbolized by the Princess of Pentacles from the Native American tradition. We have the Princess of Pentacles. And the Princess of Pentacles is all about um, hardworking, mature, methodical, patient, persistent, practical, responsible. So you are stepping up to that challenge, Aquarius. Congratulations. Yay. Good job. And it says, develop a heart open to love and a mind tolerant of differences. Realize that you bring your own unique sense of, of individuality and magic to any scenario, Aquarius, and you don't have to change. You bring something uniquely your own to the cosmic picture, which is needed by everyone else. So that's a beautiful thing. And this says, that that you are definitely stepping in to uh, the work needed. Uh, you you are uh, showing that you are trustworthy and and that you are persistent. Develop that heart opening. De that means uh, losing that reclusiveness, that shyness, that putting off till tomorrow, um, and develop a mind tolerant of differences and realize that the world will is a very varied place and you may know that in your heart of hearts in terms of others but it still may be scary to step out and be your unique shining self in a world which seems to desire conformity from you and realize that there are people who will appreciate your gifts okay and those people are represented by the star reversed The star reversed, and this is a major arcana. And with the star, the prayer is, Holy One, I am filled with your grace. The star announced in avatar worlds of silence, listening to symphonic corridors, illuminator, harvester of souls, light traveler, becoming world without end. Amen. And the uh, meaning of the star reversed with regards to others is disappointment and pessimism. Unfulfilled hopes lead to disappointment and a feeling off balance. Remember who you are and rise above the circumstance. Poor health results from a negative self-image. A lack of inspiration dashes, dashes and aspirations in a sea of hopelessness. A depressed state sabotages dreams and creative ideas, deeming them invalid or and unimportant. Consider counseling, a self-help program, a day at the spa, whatever works to pull you out of the doldrums to regain mental, physical, and emotional health. So do what you need to with regards to others. Know that you can turn this around. But that has been happening for too long. And so your your hopes and fears and and leading up to the future is the five of pentacles reversed. And the five of pentacles reversed is disharmony in love interests, overcoming ruin, reversal of misfortune. So this is a situation where you are overcoming ruin, you are reversing your misfortunes, and you are trying to cultivate a better relationship than perhaps you've ever had access to. And the result is the climb, upper climb is a transformational experience. Visualize your deepest dream as real. So this is the time to visualize and know you've made that healing progress, Aquarius. From your heart of hearts, your journey has been for, for something, leading up to something you've earned. And in the future, we have reversed the Eight of Pentacles. And 
means. The reversed is conceit, dishonest dealing, hypocr hypocrisy, lack of ambition, and intrigue. That That is what you feel you've been dealt with, that you're currently dealing with. Uh, the result is develop skills relative to your heart's desire. Trust yourself and the generosity of divine sustenance. So go forward. Go forward anyway. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm seeing that perhaps you did have a lack of ambition, but there was intrigue and you had uh, dishonest people around you at that time who were conceited only with themselves or concerned only with themselves and that you weren't meant to, to be uh, part of that, that that you have a grander plan, a greater destiny made for you. This is the woman working on her dream catcher. So this is about manifesting our dreams. And we are we are through that. We are um, at the point where we are developing our skills, we are trusting ourselves, and the generosity of divine sustenance. And I trust the divine sustenance that you enjoy this reading. That's important to me. So, uh, our final oracle cards for today is from the Mermaids and Dolphins deck. Because we all need a little magic to start a day. Aquarius. Call upon spirit. All right. Ready, set, go! Look at those beautiful killer whales. Ready, set, go! Yay, cetaceans! Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Get on with it. It's a beautiful mermaid writing that orca. Okay. And it says, Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Even though you might not feel entirely ready, this card says that there's no better time than the present to dive into your future. You are advised to take both big and small steps to move in the direction of your dreams. Push aside everything unrelated to your life's mission. Adjust your schedule so that the bulk of your time relates to your priorities and goals. Delegate tasks to other people or hire someone to assist you. Your responsibilities will still be met. You'll be happier. You'll enjoy greater self-esteem and you'll attract more abundance in the long run if you jump in and follow your heart. So until next time, I sincerely hope that this has given you the courage and inspiration to pursue your dreams, Aquarius. It's been a pleasure giving you this reading. My name is Dedham Carr and you can reach me at dedhamkar23 at gmail.com for Mystic Ashram, Sat Nam, Namaste, and many, many blessings. Peace be unto you. And I'll see you very soon. Please check out your sun, moon, and rising if this video resonated with you. And I'm available for readings. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Take care.